go. much for everyone to make their time to come today to uh, meet and greet uh, with the governor. Uh, first of all, um, I would like to uh, thank you, um, Harold Hyen, who uh, have a connection with the governor's office and make this event happen. And also um, all the communities, uh, Asian communities, and everybody who uh, uh, make their time to come over here. And uh, I would like to introduce Harold, who will have a few words. Thank you. Thank you, everybody being here. I mean, this is a series of uh, outreaching from the governor's office. And first thing we did it in Korean community, and then also Chinese and uh, Vietnamese, and also Indians and Pakistan behind them. Uh, so this is the second series of uh, governors reach out, reaching out. The uh, Vietnamese community leading, we have uh, Chinese, Koreans, Indians and the Vietnamese is here. It's never happened in sitting governor coming up there, this kind of reaching out Asian community. And this is a good, uh, you know, great time to face with the governor. And I tell you, thank you for being here. I don't need to know introduction about governor. We all know they love, we love him and that we're gonna be support him. And this is not a political event, just purely reaching out to Asian community. Here, Governor Grant Youngkin. Thank you, Harold. Thank you, Andrew, very much for hosting. Uh, and it's, this, is, this is not my first time to the Eden Center, so it's always fun to come back and to see everyone. I, I first want to congratulate everyone here for the great businesses that are all over. And of course, Virginia is the heart of small business. You know, one of the amazing things is there's 800,000 small businesses in Virginia. It is the heart of our economy. And they employ over a million and a half people. It is at the heart. And so first, I just wanna congratulate you and let you know that small business owners, I'm for you. I'm for you. I think second of all, I am always so excited to come to the Eaton Center because when we see the, the Vietnamese community come together in this way, it is so exciting. You know, broadly, the Asian community across Virginia is so important. It's so important because it adds so much to the fabric and to the culture of all Virginia. And it's what makes Virginia special. And so as governor, I have 8.7 million bosses. And I count all of you among them. And so thank you, thank you, thank you. Third, Virginia is doing really well. The, the economy is growing. We have more people working than ever. We have people moving to Virginia for the first time faster than they're moving away in 10 years. And opportunity is everywhere. And one of the exciting things is just last month we were able to announce that there are now over 230 
thousand, two hundred and thirty thousand more Virginians working today than just 22 months ago. Everybody's working. It's great. And so when everybody's working, what can they do? They can go shopping. <laughs> and that is so much fun. And they can go out to eat and they can enjoy the opportunities across Virginia. I'm really excited about educational opportunities across Virginia. I'm excited about the fact that we have now just rolled out an intensive tutoring opportunity for particularly our students in third through eighth grade who fell behind during the pandemic. And so now in all of our schools, we're offering extra tutoring for students who need it. It's so important and it doesn't cost a family anything. Third through eighth grade, up to three to five hours of tutoring every week in math and in reading so that our students can catch up. And that's so important because of course, what's the future built on? It's built on our children and they have to have a great education. And then finally, I was so excited when I came here and I saw our great sheriff from Falls Church here and all of the men and women who go to work to keep us safe every day. And one of the things that I believe strongly is, is, is that we must support our law enforcement so that they can keep us safe. And if we have safe communities, if we have safe communities and we have great education for our children and we have lots of jobs being created because businesses are thriving, then Virginia really will be the best place to live and work and raise a family. And so the, the Asian community is such an important part of what we're doing in Virginia. And I'm excited about our common culture, the common culture that brings together cultures from all over into such an exciting part of Virginia, where we in fact share faith and we share family and we share a deep, deep respect for education and for hard work. And as a result, we will have a great future together. And so thank you for letting me come out and visit. I can't wait to go visit some of the shops and I look forward to getting something to eat. <laughs> and most importantly, I look forward to meeting all of you. Now, finally, we're in the middle of election season. And so there are elections right now uh, that uh, we're in early voting and you can go vote now. One of the great things about being a Virginian is being able to vote. And so I encourage everybody, please go vote. You can vote between now and Tuesday, November the 7th. Early voting, which is open now, goes through next Friday, and then the weekend off, and then final voting on Tuesday, November 7th. And I just encourage everybody to go vote. And in fact, I have a feeling there are people here who might be running for office. If you're running for office, raise your hand. Look at this. We've got people running for office. We've got people who want to represent you. I think it's one of the great things that people do is they put themselves out to run for office. And so you might want to take some time and talk to these folks and find out if they were to, if they were to get your vote, what they will do. I know what I will do. I, I will go to work every single day to keep taxes down. I want to make sure that you keep more of your hard earned money. In fact, if you pay state taxes, Tax refunds are being mailed out starting this week. Yeah. Refunds to people. And if, you, and if you filed as an individual, up to $200 will be mailed to you. And if you filed as a couple, up to $400 will be mailed to you. There we go. Coming out starting this week. It all depends on when you filed your taxes. If you filed early, you get your check early. If you filed late, you'll be late, but it's all when they were received. But I believe we need to keep the taxes down and make sure that you keep more of your hard earned money. I believe that we need to lower regulations so that businesses can do well. I'll continue to work for strong education and to make sure that parents are deeply engaged in your children's lives. And we'll continue to make sure that law enforcement is supported to keep our neighborhood safe. And finally, that our behavioral health system works for you. I feel strongly that people who need behavioral health support should get it. 
And so we're going to make sure that Virginia's government works for you, because that's what government is, of the people, by the people, for the people. And so I thank you so much for giving me a chance to say hello and to come out and visit. And uh, I so look forward to continuing to serve all of you. God bless you, and thank you. Hello, little bee. Please don't stay me. Sorry about that. All right, thank you, Yu Yen. Thank you. This has been Governor Glenn Youngkin visiting the Eden Center in Falls Church, Virginia talking with local business leaders and